So today I have been chatting with Melissa Buckwell, our very own Mel B. Couldn't be more polar opposites to the Mel B you all know. Um, but she is truly a warrior, an art and soul tribe warrior. She is, is with us, heart and soul, and tr gets what we're trying to do. And no matter what happens, all the highs and lows, she's there and she won't, she's not going anywhere. I can feel that, I know that of her. And she's become a really good friend of mine. And she didn't come along until I think the second show in. She'd seen what we'd done with the first Outfest show and thought, this is, this is me, this is, I need to meet these people. I need to get involved. So she came along and she, she did the second one and she hasn't been away from us since everything we've done. She's supported every show we've done, she's been there. And uh, I'm truly, truly grateful for that. And for me, Melissa is a kind of barometer for us. She's so grounded and so self-aware and she has this great sense of, of justice and uh, she, she's just so true to herself and so fair and so kind and, and you know, she's very very sensitive to others' feelings but very practical at the same time. She won't get swept away by emotion. She'll be, she, you know, she, she gets what's happening around her and she gets what ha what's happening to the people and how people are suffering and she just wants to do something. A uh, very strong sense of justice and right or wrong like myself. So that's, I think that's why we get on so well. So yeah, she's, um, she really is one in a million and I'm so grateful for her support and I wanted to catch up with her to ask her a few questions about uh, why she wanted to get involved, how she's found it and of course, you know, what, what piece of advice she would, she would give to her younger self because I think that's an important one that I'll be asking most of our tribe warriors. Uh, so yeah, keep watching and find out uh, what she had to say. Okay. So, Melissa, Hello. you were... Um, one of our models that found us after our very first show, weren't you? Because mm -hmm. I can remember my first memory of you was at the coffee, it was, I know it's Costa or Starbucks. Yes. Do you remember? Yeah. And I remember I was having a meeting and you came up to me and said, Excuse me, are you Jane Ellis? And I felt really famous. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you must have seen my profile picture mm -hmm. against all the old fest stuff yeah. after the first show. And then when you when you left, uh, the people I were with them, you're really well known, aren't you? Yeah, I feel like that. <laughs> so, you, so, so thank you, like thank you for that. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, how does she know me? But then you must have obviously seen what we were all about on social media, seen the shares. What yeah. was your first impression when you seen it? Um, well, I just thought it was a really good idea, and I was glad that somebody was was doing something and um, you know uh, trying to create awareness. And I thought that's something that I want to be involved with, and these are probably people that I should meet up with because. Um, they're like-minded yeah, yeah. creatures. And as luck would have it, there I was in yeah. the coffee shop when yeah. you were there. Yeah. Like yeah. um, so you already have quite um, quite a history in the fashion industry. So like, you know my background, I've been around it for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. And you have the same, you have a, a past history with modelling. Mm -hmm. It's going back a fair few years. What have your experiences been? A positive, negative, a bit of both? Uh, a bit of both really. I think it depends on the people that you work with yeah. um, and the style of modelling that you do as well. Good point, yeah. Um, so um, I think I've been quite lucky. I haven't had too many bad experiences um, in modelling, but uh, I know that a lot of people have had. Um, and my, my thing has always been um, that, that people should be fairly represented in yeah. um, society um, and it isn't in the fashion industry. No. Um, and that was the main reason why I wanted to get involved with AFF because um, I always thought when I stopped modelling and I thought oh, I'm too old to carry on doing yeah, it Yeah, I remember now. you said that to me um, and Which so clearly you're not because look at all the things you're doing now yeah, <laughs> and, like and, and to be honest, I, I, I have um, Walk Fashion Fest to thank for that because that's oh, what gave me the confidence to get, to, to, to get back into doing it again because I, I had left that behind It would be such a waste if you hadn't because some of the imagery you're producing now is just Absolutely stunning, isn't it? And you would have. You would have I wouldn't have been doing it. No. On the fact and because I was miserable. You're hardly ancient, are you? Not yeah. that that age of it. I know it should be any time you could be able to do this. But yeah, you were. You said that before that you yeah. were just gutted that you'd had to give it up and that was it for you. Yeah, that was that's just, right. What is it? And it shouldn't be because no. you know there's no the age should be no barrier to looking good and feeling mm -hmm. good and and neither should size or sexuality. Um, it shouldn't be relevant. It should be relevant, yeah, shouldn't yeah, it? Exactly, because it, how is that a fair representation of society? Um, it, just to have models that are just you know same one, shape, one look, basically. Size, same look, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's yeah. not right. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that's probably like you say, why sort of kindred spirits in that yeah. respect, apart from the music connection, because we do like all the yes, same music as well. All, yeah, it's, it's but we weren't to know that from the beginning. No, right? that, was, that was the whole connection. You're thinking, oh yes, I get it. I've been in the industry, and mm. you're exactly that's you know we had the same kind of vision on what was what you know. 
unfair representation, I would yeah. say. And your background, when in your in your normal day to day life, you work within sort of the mental health arena, mm -hmm. don't you? So that must be an interesting perspective to have because you can see things um, from from that perspective as well. And yeah. you're very, you, I mean, I, the one thing I noticed about you is you've got a really sort of strong sense of self, sense of justice, and you're quite grounded anyway. I think that's probably. Um, been a good thing for you in the industry mm. because like me I think I'm quite similar when I was years and years ago I only modeled for a few years but I came across the sharks and I instantly was so, so grounded anyway and had that sense of self that I instantly thought oh, I know you're the bottom yeah it's no reflection on me you're an idiot I'm walking away yeah. you're quite similar in that yeah. respect but how do you how do you find your knowledge battery yeah. battery right oh. so let's go back to that previous question um, so your day-to-day -day job, mm -hmm. um, which is really polar opposite, I think, to, to your model, and you've got really two ends of the spectrum, haven't you? Yeah. Is within the mental health um, industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so, does that? Do you think that gives you a little bit more knowledge? Can you see from a different perspective again how the issues that we focus on really you know, the impact on people's mental health and, and your industry? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think um, the, the the fact that we're focusing on saying that uh, people need to be more sympathetic and more aware of people's uh, mental health issues um, and the fact that although somebody um, may present as being okay, yeah. they might not be okay. Yeah, that's crucial I think, isn't yeah. it? Um, yeah, so uh, the way you interact with other people is, is crucial. Um, and there's that, um, that famous quote, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, yeah. um, which yeah. is, um, I, I think, one of the best Sounds quotes like, ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because you don't, people don't realise how their words and actions can affect other people um, who may be very good at hiding the fact that they have got a mental yeah, health issue. Yeah, you can be issue. quite flippant about it, can't you, about it, and we hear that a lot. Um, oh, it's a new joke. Yeah. Oh, stop taking offence at everything, you yeah. know. Just, and, and, and you can understand it a lot of ways. Social media has a lot to blame because there was, um, there's loads of memes everywhere going on oh, saying yes. offence yeah. offence is given, no offence is taken, not given. Mm -hmm. And we've been through this a few times within our own group that you know, I didn't mean that, it wasn't meant to be offensive. Mm -hmm. And I think that's true. There's certain things that are just, you know, silly things yeah. that aren't meant to be offensive. And I agree that that's, you know, that, that, that does happen, that is around a lot, but I think there's a danger that people can use that as an excuse to mm -hmm. be offensive mm -hmm. and then say, oh, I didn't mean to. So yeah. it's really hard, isn't it? The lines are so blurry and there is no you know, you can't say that's right and that's wrong and there's too many different rules. I think as a general way of being, mm -hmm. everyone just needs to be more aware yeah. of, how, of how, like you say, the words and actions affect other people. Yeah, and we're never going to be perfect in society, are we? But I think we've gone so far from that the mm -hmm. other way mm -hmm. that it's just not a nice place to be in it. And it's not. And for, for me in particular, I, I'm ashamed of, of being a human being. I'm ashamed oh, God, of the way we yeah, treat animals, sometimes. the way we yeah. treat the, the earth, the planet, everything, just the way we treat anything. We have no respect for anything um, else and we're so narcissistic that we think that we are entitled to be here and we can do whatever we want yeah. whatever we want and it's just become a way of life isn't it we just convince ourselves that that's what we're entitled to um you know that's that's the whole part of the problem so to educate mm -hmm. ourselves as our generation mm -hmm. um and the future generations that's that's the big mission the big mission for us so yeah. any any thoughts on where you think you'd like to see us going from this point what you'd like to see us do as a mental health um there's uh, with the current government in place, um, we've been making a lot of cuts to services for very vulnerable people. So not just um, mental health services, but also people, um, services for older people, yeah. for children, people with learning disabilities. Um, I work in local authorities, so I've seen firsthand um, how devastating the cuts can be. Um, and there's a lot of stories in, in the press about um, people who have um, died as a, as a result of um, you know different things that have happened. Yeah. Um, so I think raising awareness right now is really, really important and if we can reach out and um, get involved and get other people involved and bring yeah. communities together um, to help each other, I think that's something that's really important because the government isn't going to help people, um, no. so people need to help each other. It is, it's people power isn't it? Yeah. And it shouldn't be, and it's one of those things that we can't, we can either get really aggressive and angsty and shouting, get our placards out and try and fight an impossible force to fight. Yeah. Or we can focus all of our energy and all of our attention on each other and come together in solidarity no matter what um, group you're from, no matter mm -hmm. what, you know, this is the whole thing about, you know, art and soul, trans and value, sexuality, yeah. gender alignment, the way you look, the way you dress, the music you listen to, where you live, just people being kind, good people and to support each other. 
we need the volume of voices together yeah. to support, you know, even if it's something that you're not going through yourself, it's supporting somebody else's plight because in return they will support you. Yeah. It's trying to get that kind of awareness and yeah. that kind of, yeah, no, I completely agree. Yeah. Let's have some this there. This is what we're all about, that's what we're doing.